Let's talk about blocking and stage directions. This is an actor. This one's name is Chandler, but that doesn't matter. What matters right now is that he's an actor, which he is. An actor performs on a stage. Stages are typically divided into nine parts based on four directions, upstage, downstage, stage left, and stage right. And this is what we call those nine parts. You can abbreviate them like this. Let's take a tour of the stage. Right now, our actor is at center stage. Center stage is one of the most prominent places on stage. Well, because it's right in the middle. Now he'll cross to upstage right. In plays set in a house, this is often where you'll find the doors to the kitchen or bedrooms. In farces, upstage center is where you'll often find a set of double doors. In other plays, this is where furniture can sit. Upstage left can be considered the least prominent part of the stage. This allows characters to enter from this direction discreetly. If the play has an indoor set, it's common that the door to the outside or a staircase is here. Characters can enter from stage left discreetly too. Stage right is great for entrances. In farces, this is where you'll find the staircase. Downstage right is considered a pleasant and prominent part of the stage. Love scenes and soliloquies frequently take place here. Downstage center is the most prominent part of the stage. It is, after all, both front and center. In musical theater, big numbers and solos alike are performed here. Soliloquies can find themselves here too. Downstage left is the most confrontational part of the stage. Scenes with big fights or violence fit well in this section. When an actor moves from one section of the stage to another, this is called a cross and can be written in the actor's script with an X. If you are crossing from downstage left to stage right, you could write DSL X S R. This can be used as a quick way of jotting down blocking in rehearsal. And of course, you can add more details as you need. That is an overview of stage directions and blocking notation. If this is new to you, we recommend that you go back through the video and make your own diagram of a stage with labels and abbreviations. There are no hard cut rules in theater blocking, and going against the principles that we've outlined today can certainly serve and enhance the play you're working on but it's important to have an overview of the trends and commonalities in theatrical blocking so that you can have the basis for your own work. Thank you for watching.